Is this the start of the beginning of the end of ways? Dad, we have our favorite, our favorite uh, car motoring expert, the one, the only, oh, George Amini. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you, George? Good, good, good. How's it going today? I've been listening to the show on and off for the last hour and a half, uh, say. So, you know, sometimes when you listen on and off, you have to, you have to kind of catch up. Like, what are they talking about? So, but the <laughs> kind of this conversation has gone so many places. <laughs> I do want to get your thoughts quickly on people that watch true crime. Do you think it's a bit uh, red flaggy? Do you think it's a bit of a problem? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't watch true crime myself. I'm a sci-fi person, but <clears throat> okay. uh, sometimes I worry with the depth at which people know how to kill other people. <laughs> and to hide the body. See, Pua knows. She knows some stuff. <laughs> at least I know if I'm in trouble, if I do something, I'm coming to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, I did something bad. I mean, Can you help me? <laughs> country to do that shit. I, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> George, have any, do you have any uh, motoring news for us before hey, before, before we well, get reveal secrets here? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we so know where AKA's before. murderer is. She's sitting in this building right now. <laughs> before Simply Red tells it. us her secrets. <laughs> yes. Uh, which, which navigation app do you use? Waze or Google Maps or Apple Maps? Can I tell you, I used to be a Google Maps girl and then Waze. Way showed me that it is the Beyonce of the group because it even tells me about the potholes, the mm. potholes and the popo. But I think maps is more accurate. Mm. Okay, that's the I've I've used both and I I like both to be honest. I think they're both really to be good. Beyonce. Yeah, I mean personally, this is just a personal opinion. I I don't I don't like ways. I think it's okay. too it's a little bit too gamified, you know. And um, for me, a map needs to be a map. Yeah, give you some information on the side, but there's too much going on on the streets of ways. Yeah, in my pigs and it's like, it's like a, I'm people. playing a game. <clears throat> yes, it's it's too gamified in my opinion. So, but that's just my personal opinion. But let me give you the let me give you the real story of what's happening to ways because it it may not last as long as uh, um, as we might think it may last in the future. So, so Waze is a, is obviously a Google product. It's not, mm-hmm. not a Google product. It was acquired by Google in 2013. Um, <clears throat> the deal the deal was done for 1.3 billion US dollars. I mean, just imagine that number 1.3 billion US dollars. Um, Google left Waze alone. Ways operated with its own CEO and uh, as its own division <clears throat> for as for as long as <clears throat> excuse me for as long as they have uh, they've had Ways as a product and um, they didn't integrate it into Google although I'm pretty sure a lot of the features of Google and Ways kind of you know creep into each other but Ways has got 500 employees <clears throat> and uh, and they operate as an Israeli company and uh, they're on their own they they do their own thing. Google sure. is changing that. So uh, uh, the CEO is is leaving Waze, um, and Waze is being integrated into Google Maps. Not the product, the the, the team is being integrated or reporting to, should I say, the uh, um, uh, um, vice president in in Google. So is this the start of the beginning of the end of Waze? Because if you look at their so. numbers. If you look at their numbers, back when they were acquired, they had 130 million users on Waze. Sure. Okay. Um, they've now got 151 million users on Waze, which are diehard, some Piwe fans. They use Waze because it's gamified and there's lots of, you know, pigs and whatever on the on the road. <laughs> um, but, uh, but hear this. Google Maps has 1 billion users. Wow. Oh. 1 billion users. So Waze is a paltry 15% of the user base of Google Maps. That's tickets. That's why would, it. Why would Google keep this product running? I mean, mm. it's, it's, surely it's just a cost. Surely. It sounds like the head of Google had a cousin who had a great business idea. <laughs> and he's like, I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a chance. <laughs> But yeah, I I can't believe the, the 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 difference in numbers. That's that's stark. I I think they're gonna yeah. Just so it's come gonna be back a home. slow, painful death. Mm. But it's tickets. Yeah. Now I agree I'm with you, George. There's way too much going on in that app. I feel like I'm I'm playing Angry Birds. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Angry Birds. I mean, I never played Angry Birds, but I saw people yeah. playing Angry Birds. It looks no ways. like that. There's too many tabs open there. There's too many tabs open there. I mean, I think on, on the app, you can see other people that are online with you. Just no ways. I think so. Yeah, but why? Why? Why, why, do want, why do you want to see that? Well, why is your ways on social media now? You're going to start telling stories, texting and driving. <laughs> I, I just want the bloody thing to tell me where to go. I'm not yeah. interested in, yeah. in the road. Yeah, the pun of the day, I think, has to go to Rajesh. No ways, dude. <laughs> that's a good one Rajesh you're back you're back Rajesh is back in the game yeah no so, um, uh, so in conclusion uh, Google doesn't have any um, uh, direct uh, plans to shut ways down so there's no there's no speak of shutting ways down but if you look at these moves surely that tells me that there's going to be some sort of merger at some point in one map platform for Google, yeah. potentially. That's just my personal deduction from, uh, from the story. Mm. Just a question with regards to Waze. Does it show you the traffic the next day? Like I know one thing about Google Maps is that you can put in your location for the next day, the time that you need yeah. to be there, and it will tell you the time that you need to leave. In order to make it that. on time, I'm very like I live on the edge though. Oh. Okay? Like the only time I open up like ways is to check sh how long is this gonna take, or if I'm already in traffic, how oh. do I get out of it? Okay, okay I'm one go. of those. I wake up and I, yeah, just let's go. drive. Let's I, go. Think, I think Google Maps is a better app anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. it does what it's, as they say, as they say in business, it does what it says on the tin, and uh, and no more or no less. Yeah, it's oh, a can of baked beans, and you know there's baked beans inside, not some piglets on the on the road. <laughs> All right. Anything else, so, Buzz George? So the, 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 um, the world is, uh, uh, by and large, most most. Let me put it to this way: by and large, most countries um, don't have as many cars as there are people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it goes without saying. You know, there's a there's a distribution curve in terms of the rich and the poor, and those who can afford and those who can't afford a car. All right, and uh, and then in some cases, some people don't want a car; they want an Uber or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. um, but there is one country who has more cars than people. What? Hmm. And it is the fifth richest country in the world. Okay, so to put this in perspective, the United States has 0 0.87 cars per capita, per person, right? So there's, okay. there's about two okay. thirds of the population have cars. This country is San Marino. It's a, wow. it's a little, little country and sure. uh, it has 1.6 cars per person. So more than hey, one car. Most people are rolling with two cars out there, basically. Exactly, exactly. Right. And that does what, not include what children. Cars are they driving? <laughs> just, just what cars are they driving? Do we know? Is it Porsches? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might want to move there. <laughs> she feels canvassing. She says she needs a holiday. Maybe San Marino. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. San Marino. <laughs> in San Marino, uh, mm -hmm. uh, is one of the wealthiest countries in the world with a high GDP per capita, and its mm -hmm. wealth enables residents to afford multiple cars. It's not uncommon in San Marino to see luxury cars like Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, Porsche, BMW, and Mercedes Benz in driveways. There you go. <laughs> If you guys don't see me on the show next week, no She's way. In San Marino. We won't have to guess like with Gareth. We'll know. CPO is in San Marino, guys. She won't be here for another week. In fact, if it goes well, she's never coming back. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and then and then I thought I'd leave you with one last bit of uh, um, uh, in, in uh, inspiration, or should I say, uh, education. And that is, what is the difference between torque and horsepower? Do you know? Hmm. No. Uh, if I were to guess, shit. Actually, I always and thought they were the same thing. I always now. thought newton meters of torque and yeah. horsepower. Are they not the? Uh, is it what? What is the difference there? Newton newton meters. Hmm. Well, the newton meters is just a measure of torque. It's just a. It's just a measure like like watts okay. or. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, so, I'm just so, trying so to relate that to, to the horsepower. I can't tell you. Maybe the the actual physical material. Uh, um, don't okay, so let me tell you. Was, let me tell you. I was so, gonna guess um, quickly. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, she wants to guess. Don't, don't judge me, but I I don't know which is which. But I'm presuming, you know, when 
they do the <laughs> thing with their cars, right? That's that's. Uh-huh. I think that. Uh, I that's horsepower. Yeah, I think that's horsepower. You know, that's that's like, uh, <laughs> that moments. I think that's Rupa. yeah. That ah. yes, the horsepower is a rupa. I think to me, uh, that's, just noise. that's just noise. It's I, I don't know. Yeah, I think okay, the term for that is just noise. <laughs> so, oh, so, so talk. Talk, and I'm going to relate it to a bicycle. So talk is the pressure that you put on the bicycle pedal. It's that how much force you can put on the bicycle pedal. That's talk. All right. Okay. okay. That's why electric cars have an incredible amount of torque because okay. they've got direct uh, drive onto the wheels. Okay. Okay. Um, whereas horsepower is um, the ability to accelerate so for instance if you were riding your bicycle and you were doing say 10 kilometers now and you wanted to do 15 at the mm-hmm. same resistance of the pedal you need more power mm, okay so the horsepower would relate to zero to 103 seconds you'd want a lot more horsepower there well yeah, a lot more oh, horsepower okay. in yeah, order yeah. to get off the line really quickly you want more talk talk 100 percent. this sounds like car wow right here <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you so much, George, for that. I've learned a thing or two now. Mm. I know the difference between talk, talk and horsepower. Yes. I always, I always thought they were the same thing. They were just given new names. You know, our age. You don't get shell shock. You get PTSD. I mean, you don't die. You pass away. <laughs> it's not ancestors. It's underground gang. <laughs> Well, but thank you so much, George. Uh, you can catch the Auto Trader podcast every Monday at nine o'clock on cliffcentral.com or wherever you get your podcast. Uh, Apple, Spotify, do the things to be done. And then, of course, we have Mark and Judy. He said he's going to pump. Uh, tell oh, us about my shows, good. my shows. Okay, I've got, a, I've got a show on the 10th of August oh. at uh, the Gatsby's Live in Midrand. It's going to be oh. epic. It's a one man special. Come through with all your friends. And then, yeah, if you're looking for me to do comedy, find me at Molly Malone's also on the 10th of August. I'm doubling up. I'm a man like that. Uh, the 12th of October, the 9th of September. Uh, the 9th of November, rather. Mm-hmm. 12th of October, 9th of November. Uh, that's where you can catch me. And then otherwise, I'll just be doing open mics all around. But Ooh. yeah, it's been good to be here. 10th of August, Gatsby's Live, my one-man show. It's going to be called What Can I Say? Awesome one stuff. And good Mark news. Is Sorry, some viewers. So one thing about Mark oh, no. is he's, he's, he doesn't try to be funny. He is funny. Yeah. <laughs> I love that, George. That's the best compliment I could ever get. Thank you. Yeah. And good news is that Gareth Cliff will be back, guys. Ladies Woo-hoo. and gentlemen, boys and girls, they and them. Don't worry. He is going to be in the building. And he'll answer all the questions you have for him. Until then, I'll see you on the flip side of life. Love you lots like jelly tarts. And remember, it's not love. It's winter. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sophia. This was awesome. Peace. Peace. Good job.